today we are comparing two powerful visualization platforms for a Neo and Kohum. Both promise fast tenders, drag and drop ease, cloud based design tools but which one is actually ideal for architects. I am Salman and in this video we will compare both these platforms under 7 key categories and find out which one is more ideal for the architectural workflow. If you haven't subscribed make sure you do so we can create more amazing content like this. So let's get started. Number 1 is interface and ease of use. The first thing you'll notice about Foyer Neo is that its interface feels intentional. The main workspace allows 2D and 3D toggling with a logical layout for architects. Settings, object library and materials on the left and functional elements on the top. You can click to place walls, define wall thickness and adjust dimensions numerically. Doors, windows and structural elements snap into place with sensible roots. It runs entirely in the cloud, meaning no software downloads, no high-spec graphic cards required and zero local lag. Architects who have worked with SketchUp, AutoCAD or even Canva will feel instantly familiar with this interface. Kuhum shines when it comes to accessibility. Its interface is visually rich and beginner friendly, especially for users from an interior styling or product visualization background. It encourages dragging templates and objects into place visually, but in terms of numerical control, there's still a little gap. But many tools are tucked away in drop downs or secondary menu. For example, adjusting a wall height or aligning elements may take multiple clicks and guesswork. For designers used to CAD or BIM systems, Kuhum might feel alien in logic, where the controls feel reversed in Intel. Verdict If you're used to CAD or Revit and you want a fast visualizer without too much noise, then Foyer Neo wins on clarity and focus. Number 2 Modeling Capabilities Foyer Neo lets you build spaces from scratch using intuitive floor plan tool. You can draw walls and structural elements with precision, specifying dimensions, thickness and alignments easily, all without needing BIM level detailing. It's especially useful for architects who want to sketch out massing or layouts and quickly move on to the furniture layouts. Partition walls, niches, custom room names and material differentiation can all be done in a few clicks. For example, you can model an apartment plan, set custom wall heights insert openings and preview how the spaces would feel all in just 10 to 15 minutes. Kuhum allows you to assemble rooms using modular tools ideal for creating single or multiple rooms instead of drawing from scratch. Basic wall drawing and editing is available but there's less granularity when it comes to architectural parameters like wall thickness, level offsets or structural elements. Verdict If your goal is to design space, control dimensions and play with spatial volumes Foyer Neo gives you that extra level of modeling control. If your priority is to style space, arrange furnitures and create a polished presentation quickly, Kuhum gets you there with minimal effort. Number 3 is rendering quality and speed. Let's talk about rendering because that's why we are all here, right? So in this section, we look at both the rendering quality and how fast each of these platforms gets you to the final result. Foyer Neo One of Foyer's biggest strength is that it offers 12K photorealistic renders. This is a really good quality for presentations or printout. All of the rendering is cloud-based, so you don't need a high-end graphic card and the processing happens on Foyer's server, freeing up your local machine. Even HD photorealistic outputs usually take under 5-8 to eight minutes, making it perfect for last-minute client changes or iterative presentation. Foyer gives you flexible lighting control with preset lighting scenes like daylight, evening, ambient light or spotlight interior. You can also adjust exposure, shadows and reflections to get the mood just right. You have full control over camera angles and perspectives allowing you to frame the design story as you envision it. The render output is crisp, detailed and consistent. Kuhum offers exceptional render quality, especially in its higher tier rendering modes. The lighting realism, surface reflections and depth of field can rival professional rendering tools. However, rendering time is longer, particularly for Ultra HD images. Depending on the complexity of the scene, it can take 15 to 30 minutes per image. Kuhum also uses a credit system for higher resolution renders, which can make the process feel transactional if you're doing a lot of revisions. Verdict If you focused on speed, flexibility and iterative design presentations, Foyer Neo is the more efficient choice, especially during the design development and client feedback stages. If your priority is final quality output, especially for portfolios or product presentations, then Kuhum's render engine might give you that extra level of depth, provided you're okay with an additional time and cost. Number 4. Asset Library A powerful asset library can save you hours of time. 
Foya Neo features a highly curated asset library focused on architectural visualization needs rather than quantity. You will find all the essentials for interior design, furniture, light fixtures, indoor plants, appliances, cabinetry, doors and windows and more. Assets are organized into logical categories like living room, office, kitchen, etc. Most items are in a modern or contemporary design language. The objects load quickly, can be resized in real time and don't bog down the scenes or impact render speed. They have also introduced a tool called Infinite Catalog which uses AI to turn any image or sketch into a 3D model. Basically, create infinite 3D models with this tool. Foyer also lets you import custom models in SketchUp and other formats which means you can bring in your design-specific objects easily. Kuhom's asset library is massive. It includes models from furniture and decor to entire room presence and branded product lines. For users focused on retail, e-commerce or showrooms, this is a huge plus. The platform features detailed materials and finishes. However, the sheer scale of the library can sometimes make it feel overwhelming. Some assets are region-specific, for example, traditional furniture or product lines that may not always align with global or contemporary architectural styles. Verdict Kuhom has a wide range of furniture types but Foyer wins in curation and its relevance to architects. With the Infinite Catalog tool in Foyer, it offers a far more flexibility in design and modeling compared to Kuho. Number 5 is collaboration and export options. No matter how good your design is, the real test is how easily you can share it with clients, collaborators and consultants. Foyer Neo is designed to make sharing your design ideas as easy as possible. You can create 2D flow plans with dimensions, material tags and furniture layouts ideal for quick internal reviews or communicating with consultants. HD image exports from different camera views are incredibly simple. Just render, click download and you're good to go. You can also batch render multiple scenes in one go. Foyer also offers export options for elevations, 3D views and color-coded plans, all of which can be directly included in a client deck or PDF presentation. You can create 360 virtual walkthroughs with Foyer in high quality and this can be shared to clients with just a link. Foyer also offers AR view and you can look at the model in real space to understand its scale and detail. Teams can work across multiple devices since it's cloud-based, meaning no versioning issues or software dependency. Kuhum Kuhum leans more towards client presentation and marketing ready export, particularly for furniture layouts and interior styling. It offers 360 panorama views, virtual walkthroughs, and even we are ready see. However, when it comes to technical drawing, clean plan exports, or label layouts, Kuhum is not as detailed. There's less emphasis on architectural documentation like dimension plans or annotated elevation. Sharing is possible through links or platform accounts, but some of the most advanced sharing features may require higher tire plans. Verdict Four year wins for architecture teams who want presentation outputs fast. Number six is pricing and access. Foyer Neo offers a single, unified design workflow in one subscription from 2D planning and 3D modeling to rendering and exporting. Pricing is clear and all-in-one, starting at a monthly or yearly fee depending on the plan. As of now, the Pro plan has unlimited rendering credits, access to the asset library and custom model uploads. Importantly, you don't have to pay extra per rendering, making it easy to estimate costs for single or multi-phase projects. Foyer also includes a 14-day free trial, so you can test the platform risk-free. It also offers special student plans. It's best suited for independent architects, small to mid-sized design firms, or freelance designers who need predictable costs and no render token. Kuhum Kuhum operates on a freemium model where the base version is free. But certain features like HD rendering, 360 views, and branded furniture require a paid subscription or render credit. There are multiple pricing tiers, each unlocking different levels of export quality. This system works well if you only need occasional high-end outputs because it can become hard to track. Verdict Foyer offers more value for money if you're a regular user who wants high-resolution outputs without any additional purchases or add-ons. Number 7. Design Intent and Target Audience While both Foyer Neo and Kuhum offer similar tools on the surface like rendering and modeling, their core intent and the audience they serve better might be slightly different. Foyer Neo feels like it was built with spatial thinkers in mind. People who sketch floor plans, think about wall alignments, materials, sun orientation and iterate layouts multiple times before presenting. It supports a design-first mindset where accuracy, spatial clarity, 
and storytelling come together. Even the interface reflects this. You begin with planning, then move into modeling, then into rendering, just like an architect's process. It's perfect for architects, interior designers, and boutique studios who want to develop ideas fast, present clearly, and export meaningful outputs and renders all in one platform. Kuhum, on the other hand, leans heavily into interior styling and visualization with a strong emphasis on beautiful, polished, photoreal outputs. It's effective for e-commerce, furniture market, and real estate staging, where speed, aesthetics, and walkthroughs are key. Features like 360 walkthrough, VR view, and product tagging reinforce its strength and immersive showcasing. Verdict? In short, Kuhum might be better if your goal is to sell or stage your design more than actually designing a space. Why Foyer is a better pick for architects. To wrap up things, if you're an architect, interior designer, or 3D artist in the ASA industry, Foyer Neo gives you more speed, clarity, and control in a way that aligns with your process. From its clean and intuitive interface, solid modeling tools, and fast rendering, to its rich asset library, smooth collaboration, flexible export options, and accessible pricing, Foyer Neo clearly stands out as a well-balanced platform. Whether you're building concept designs, crafting mood boards, securing quick client approvals, or iterating at lightning speed, Foyer makes it simple, beautiful, and incredibly fast. And in architecture, where time saved is opportunity gained, it's not just convenient, but a competitive advantage. If you're ready to get started with Foyer Neo, head over to the link in the description to get your 14-day free trial. You can also use the coupon code SALMAN-50 to get 50% off on your subscription. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you soon.